This video was made possible by Brilliant, a math and science problem-solving website that makes learning fun and rewarding. In the Brothers Karamazov, Dostoevsky wrote, quote, Remember especially that you can't be the judge of anyone, for there can be no judge of a criminal on earth until the judge knows that he too is a criminal, exactly the same as the one who stands before him, and that he is perhaps most guilty of all for the crime of the one standing before him. When he understands this, then he'll be able to judge. However mad that may seem, it's true. For if I myself were righteous, perhaps there would be no criminal standing before me now. If you're able to take upon yourself the crime of the criminal who stands before you and whom you're judging in your heart, do so at once and suffer for him yourself and let him go without reproach. End quote. And Dostoevsky's character is saying something pretty powerful here, that by freeing your mind of judgment, you can create a better world. But how does a mind free of judgment lead to a better world? The key to creating a better world is correction. We have to be able to correct our mistakes. And the only way to correct our mistakes is through learning. And only a mind free of judgment is capable of endless learning. Learning happens in two steps, prediction and then correction. First, you make a prediction about how to achieve a specific goal in the world. And then if you're wrong, you correct your prediction until your goal is achieved. So again, there are two steps to learning, prediction and then correction. And a mind free of judgment is naturally predictive. It naturally makes and corrects its predictions. Or in other words, a mind free of judgment naturally learns. But how do you free your mind from judgment? By dropping your desire for certainty. A mind that desires certainty is a mind that quickly falls into delusion because certainty is only possible in delusion. A certain mind says, I know. It sees itself as perfect and believes it has grasped the truth. And once a mind believes it has the truth, it stops making predictions and it starts making judgments because there's no value in making predictions when you believe your knowledge is perfect. And because the judgmental mind believes it's perfect, it's not open to being corrected. So naturally it falls into delusion and delusion leads to suffering. So how do you drop the desire for certainty? It happens naturally when you see that certainty is impossible. How do you know the sun will come up tomorrow? You don't until it's already happened. We can be certain of things that have happened in the past, but the future always lies in uncertainty. There's no reason that tomorrow has to be similar to today. The idea that the future has to resemble the past is an act of faith. And once you really internalize that, you'll probably lose the desire for certainty because it's a pointless chase. And once you drop the desire for certainty, you'll free your mind of judgment. And once you free your mind of judgment, you'll open yourself up to endless learning. And once you open yourself up to endless learning, you'll be able to correct your errors. And once you're able to correct your errors, you'll create a better world. Now let's take a look at the difference between a mind trapped by judgment and a mind free of judgment. Candace is a literary agent. And one day, a writer named Thomas comes into her office. Thomas is very eccentric and doesn't fit the image Candace has in her mind of a successful writer. And since Candace has a judgmental mind, she immediately writes him off. She's not even interested in testing her knowledge. I know what good writers look and act like, she thinks, and he's not one of them. So Thomas takes his novel to a different agent, Lucy. Lucy sees him and thinks, well, he certainly doesn't look or act like most successful authors that come in here, but hey, that's just my prediction. I could be wrong. Let me read his work and find out. So Lucy reads his work and believes that it's a masterpiece. 
She realizes her original prediction was wrong and corrects it. She signs Thomas, whose book goes on to become a once-in-a-lifetime classic, selling over 500 million copies. And between these two examples, we see the difference between a judgmental mind and a predictive one. The predictive mind doubts its own knowledge, and this doubt leads to testing. Testing leads to error, error leads to correction, and correction leads to greatness. But the judgmental mind is certain of its own knowledge, and certainty leads to delusion, and delusion leads to suffering. So if you see the lie behind certainty, you'll drop your desire for it. You'll be okay with living in uncertainty. And if you drop the desire for certainty, you'll free yourself of judgment. And if you free yourself of judgment, if you stop letting others judge you, if you stop judging yourself and others, you'll enter a space of endless learning. And through endless learning, you can correct your errors. And by correcting your errors, you can create a better world. That concludes my exploration of Dostoevsky's teaching in The Brothers Karamazov. As always, this is just my opinion and understanding of Dostoevsky's teaching, not advice. Feel free to use this information however you like, and if you have a different take on his words, I'd love to hear your perspective in the comments. If you liked the video, please consider liking the video. And if you're looking for another video to watch after this one, I recommend watching my video, Dostoevsky. Be careful of the ideas you plant in others. I'll put a link to it in the description below and in the top right of the screen right now. And if you're looking for a way to increase your wisdom, I recommend checking out this week's sponsor, Brilliant. They've recently taken the interactivity on their platform to a whole new level. Check out this example from their recently redesigned Mathematical Fundamentals course. You might remember the Pythagorean theorem from school, like what the formula is. But in this lesson, you're moving around triangles and actually proving that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. It's pretty cool, and there's a lot more where that came from. Brilliant is an amazing tool for learning STEM, built off a very simple yet effective principle. You learn best while solving problems in real time. Brilliant starts you off with simple problems, but they increase in difficulty, bit by bit, until before you even realize it, you've learned a fundamental concept in logic, science, math, or computer science. Join a community of over 11 million learners today by going to www.brilliant.org slash freedom and thought, or click the link in the description below and you can sign up for free. As a bonus for those who are ready to push themselves further, the first 200 people will be hooked up with 20% off the annual subscription. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.